Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Poncho Kings here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create your very own jump scare for your horror games. And it's actually gonna be like super easy because I've made a special tutorial kit for you. And yes, we're gonna be using this creepy guy in order to achieve that. So before we start, make sure you already hit that like button and you already hit that subscribe button. And well, after you do that, let's get right into it. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go and check our jump scare kit. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description so you guys can access to it easily. And yeah, let's check what we have inside. So we have a remote folder, we have a camera interpolate event script, we have a monster, which is this one right here. We have a tunnel and we have a couple more things. So first thing I want you guys to do, I want you to go ahead and grab the remote folder and place it inside the replicated storage. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the camera interpolate event script and we're going to place it inside our starter character scripts. After that, we're going to place everything else uh, inside our workspace, just like that. If you want, you can go ahead and delete the thumbnail camera and the jump scare kit. Uh, folder we're gonna we're not gonna use that anymore so now that we have everything set up we're gonna go ahead and create our main script so what we want to do is that when the player touches this yellow wall right here we want to manipulate the camera in order to place it in the green square and point towards the red square and Behind the red square, we're actually gonna be placing our monster and that's how the jump scare is gonna work So let's go ahead and create our script. We're gonna go to the server script service We're gonna insert an object and we're gonna insert the script We're gonna rename this script to jump scare script So this script is the one that is gonna take care of the touch function with the our yellow wall so we're uh, the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to our camera interpolate event script and we're gonna grab these two lines right here we're gonna copy them and we're gonna place them in our jump scare script so we're gonna want to play our jump scare animation only once so we're gonna go ahead and create a variable which is gonna be already played equal fault whenever we play the animation we're gonna set this value uh, to true so it doesn't play again so now we're gonna go ahead and create our function which is which is gonna be game workspace trigger touched connect function hit so we're gonna check if hit that parent find first child humanoid we're gonna check if it's a player and if it is a player we're gonna check if the jump scare has already played so we're gonna check our already played value equals to false then we're gonna actually play it so when we actually play it we're gonna set it to true already played equal true okay and we have the first part pretty much done so now is is when we actually want to place our monster in the right position but first i want you guys to make sure that you have a working animation for your monsters as you guys can see if i play the game right now you can tell I already have an animation for my jump skirt. So you're going to have to make something like this. Because mine is probably not going to work in your workspace. So to do that, you're going to have to go to plugins. You're going to go to animation editor. You're going to click on your monster. And yeah, you're going to make sure uh, you have an animation or you make one. So as you guys can tell, I already have one right here, which is this one. 
and you gotta make sure you have it toggled to looping animation and you also gotta make sure that the animation prodigy is set to action then you're gonna go ahead and export it you're gonna make sure you have an ID and when you do you're gonna place it inside the monster inside the jump scare animation right here you're gonna change the animation ID to your own ID and make sure it's working make sure to test the game again you can go ahead and test it just right here to make sure your animation is working and when it is working we can go ahead and go to the next step so now that we have a working animation uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab our monster and we're gonna make sure to put it behind our red square which is the the camera uh, camera aim so we have a camera position and we have a camera aim we're gonna make sure the monster is behind the camera aim so when we when we move our camera it's gonna be looking something like this which is pretty good for a jump scare so now that we have that uh, we can now that we have the now that we have the monster in the right position uh, make sure you are not gonna move the position of the monster anymore make sure it is in the position you want it to be you're gonna go ahead and grab the monster model and you're gonna place it inside the replicated storage just like that after you do that we are gonna go back to our jump scare script and we're gonna create a clone of our monster so we're gonna do local monster equal game replicated storage monster clone just like that then we're gonna set the monster parent to the workspace and we're gonna wait one second and then we're gonna destroy the monster just like that perfect so now that we have now that we already created our monster we waited one second which is the duration of the jump scare and then we deleted the monster we want to move the camera to make it actually look scary so we actually can go ahead and if you guys check the monster model you can see that I added uh, a scream sound if you want to change the scream sound you can go ahead and do it I think this is a good one you guys can listen to it if you want I'm not sure if you guys if you guys can listen to it but that's the that's the sound I have it inside the head of the monster and we can go ahead and play it to make it even more scary so monster head scream play just like that okay so now is when we actually want to use our camera interpolation event so we're gonna play it on all the clients and the first thing is gonna be our camera position our camera position and make sure to do C frame to add the C frame after that and then you are gonna add a comma and you're gonna do game workspace camera aim and we're also be we're also gonna be calling the C frame for this one and then the other value is gonna be the time it takes uh, to the camera to move from the player to the actual jump scare position so we want it to be like really quick to be actually scary so we're gonna do 0.2 seconds so just like that we're gonna wait, wait one second and then we're gonna move the camera back to the player and we're gonna fire to all the clients just like that so this is basically it our animation should be working now uh, so let's just make sure we make all these parts invisible so we cannot actually see it so we're gonna grab all the three parts the yellow green and red parts we're gonna make it transparency equal one so they are invisible and we can go ahead and test it 
So whenever we touch the invisible yellow part, the jump scare should play. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's actually pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a pretty good jump scare. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think it was pretty easy to make. I hope you guys are able to make some pretty scary uh, jump scares with this. I cannot wait to try them out and well yeah I hope you enjoyed it guys like I said before make sure you already like the video make sure you already subscribed and I'll see you guys at the next video okay bye bye